beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl but it is back and i'm back at it again today with a new video from the city of ilorin as you guys know already your girl went on a trip oh i'm on a trip actually to ilorin to Quara state but we are starting our vlog our adventure from ilorin so right now we are on our way to asadam so i'm with non gov media one of our coolest filmmakers oh, the best, the best the <laughs> and mr paso mr password password life Cheers! the best in the world. thank you so we are about to go and have you know let me not say fun because we don't know what it's going to be like but we are about to go and learn some stuff see nature see explore. Cool explore we're going to That's explore we're going yeah. on an expedition you know okay. what i mean so keep it locked <laughs> subscribe turn on post notification and when this video comes up watch to the end okay you heard it here thank you so guys let's go so welcome to our first stop which is the asadam ilori the asadam is actually the biggest dam in ilori and it is built it is constructed to be the supply for the major supply of water of portable water for Kwara State, Ilori and neighboring towns. And it was actually constructed by Julius Becker. So this is Asadam. We were able to see the control room, but let's just show you what the dam looks like. So this is the environment of the Asadam constructed by the Julius Berger team. There's the bridge, there is the building, the control room, and there is like this barricade in front where you can see, you know, take a closer look of the dam. So as you can see on the dam, there are like green leaves on it. Yeah, this place underneath it is a lot of water, but they said because we are in the you know dry season it has not started raining yet that's why there's a lot of leaves <laughs> So there are fishes on that. Yeah, in those areas, but she wants to. This is the river to to be Junikara State. Wow. Okay, check it out, Lele. Oh, what's that fry? What's that? Yeah, you know, Koko, you Lele, you know, I'm going to die. You know, you know, I'm going to die. I don't want to be. What? 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 After we checked the environment of the water, we were brought into the the control room where the water is distilled filtered because i didn't even film some part of the water because it was really dirty and they said most of the deaths are coming from other states other towns so this is where they filter the water because they said this water is used for drinking washing and doing a lot of uh household chores and also for farming irrigation and a lot of that so when we came into here and we saw that okay they have a control room there was light there were all the machines were on so it was like okay maybe this makes sense i don't know how dam water works how the distillation works but you know it's always good to learn new stuff so at least i learned something new today guys wow i actually have fear of height and i feel like chewing up my eyes are, my body is shaking i don't know who sent me message hey god this is not easy i used to know that i have fear of heights and fear of water itself 
especially like big water water but this one looking at it from up the bridge down it's making me have a dig so yeah we are going to leave here now and we are going to dada pottery next so come with me I can't say yawa. Dada landlord, dada poultry. If you say kuku, ona ba ina abi. Esi yawa, esi o. E kwa taro. Aso. Ndi na kwe ayi ambi ibi so finally we made our way to the dada poultry and as you can see immediately you enter you see a lot of poultry work so let's go in dada poultry dada poultry workshop is regarded to be the largest traditional poultry making workshop in nigeria this workshop is on a landmass of almost an acre of land because it is really really big and this is the job of almost all the women of Dada. This area is called Dada. And it is also like a female dominated job. Because when you come into this place, you would notice that all the molders are all women. Now they create this craft with their hands. From mixing of the clays to molding all these perfect and beautiful pots. These Dada women make everything from scratch by themselves. there's just a lot of things going on here a lot of pots and they are all made here so i don't even know where to start from for the dada women to do their work the dada potters to do their work they source for their clay from well from rivers from streams and it's obvious like they like i think watery clays because you see them soaking it in water or obviously to mold you actually have to soak your clay in water okay that was just common sense so this is some of the pots they made and just look around like you just get lost inside here so they first sieve those the 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 clays they get the sand they get from either the river the stream from the well wherever they get it from to get them to give them that fine molding clay they sieve it first after sieving it then they soak it in water and then they do what they have to do with it it's just like a lot of process which takes which doesn't just take one day so there's always a lot of process as you can see these are some sand some clays that have been purified and what have been added to it so i met this lady who was making these little little cups it's not cups but they are used by goldsmiths to melt gold and you know others iron objects so this is how she makes it so i kept wondering how does this white clay become this reddish orange you know end product that i kept seeing so i asked the lady and she said they use this clay it's called ibo it is orange in color and when their clay is dried the molded pot is dried and it is maybe i think it's on the fire they use this to paint it and that's how it gets the orange color so that is that for dada poetry it's good to see women doing their work but it's just sad that they don't have the newest technology imagine how much things these women make without technology with their bare hands now imagine if they have like the resources to make better stuff imagine how much they make even though they sell it like they export their pots there are a lot of you know people that come to buy from them but i still feel like you know if little bit of civilization and technology comes here 
there is a lot that they can even do so this is going to be the end of my trip to dada poultry and now we are going to head to the next location so finally guys i'm actually really tired but finally for today i think our last tourist attraction is this sobi hill so this is the tallest and biggest hill in Ilori. It's actually quite wide but we are just like at the foot side now so I'll be climbing up soon and we'll see what that looks like. I'm already tired. Yeah, we're dropping our foot In front on the here. Now, to climb on the Sobi hill, you have to remove your footwear at the beginning of the hill and this is because, you know, this hill has been regarded or made to be like a place of worship for some people people come to pray here and the most beautiful thing about this hill is the fact that both religion the islam christianity they both come here to pray to god and this was one of the like most unifying thing i've seen the christians are not complaining like oh a muslim man is praying or the muslim man is not saying oh the noise of the christians are disturbing me so this really made sense i don't even know why we always have this religion problem anyways but now it's time to climb on the sobi hill this is hill this hill is you know is estimated to be like 394 meters above ground it is really quite high and it has two major rocks that you will climb before you get to the top this was the hardest climb i've ever done in my life i almost fainted guys we are just starting and i'm my leg is already shaking i'm such a lazy woman i don't like hiking or climbing for no reason so this this place actually has like a lot of belief behind it but first thing i know is people come to pray here and really i would pray to my creator here because this is the work of god you know hills and rocks are like one of the biggest okay i wouldn't say biggest thing but one of the wonders of god you know so but we are going off ah uh, i'm already having palpitation i've not even climbed anything Come down. It's scary. And we are not halfway there. How did Rejoice do this? Whoa. I don't think I can get to the highest top. Ah. This is another way. I think this is like the fastest way. Sure, I'm not going to go past this one like this. Look at the drone people. Me, I'm going up. Only you can do this so. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to run. <laughs> what the hell? See where they are. And I'm up here. Look at this. Oh, guys. <laughs> See the way I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. We just climbed this thing, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm having palpitation. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you. This is so nice. The breeze, the air is actually cool, even though it's so sunny. But like, you can feel the breeze. Let me just show you a little bit of what Lauren looks like from here. <music> take a break <sighs> like I was almost there I think I was like just like quarter to but I'm so tired like I felt like I was going to faint this is my fear of heights and I really hate hiking but I guess I, I've sat down for a while now maybe I can replenish my energy and move on whoa this is crazy rejoice Big ups to you. Finally, I'm back on my journey again. I just needed to rest. If not, it's gonna be a long one. Oh.
Now, another hard part of climbing this hill for me is the fact that you cannot wear your shoes on it. So, my feet, the under of my feet was like crazy hot and it was really, really painful. I could feel the stones, the rock, like underneath my feet i could feel it so much so i felt like if i was wearing my shoes at least it could have been a little bit better but now i'm about to go on the last lap and i made i asked some kids that i saw on my way to actually motivate me which really made my journey quick as i just worked with them clap guys finally we made it this is the highest point of the hill that's where the church is with that building there but i couldn't go there because obviously they had the service but guys i made it i was really really so tired like i just sat down on the floor and i just made that hair I did it guys I went up and I came down without help okay with little help of Kelvin holding him by his shoulder I I, I you did not help me I was just holding you I knew I need that support guys finally I think I'm not going anywhere again today if I do I'm sorry this is going to be the end of my long trip or my trip for today and please if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it bye